What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg with a speed and performance comparison of iPad 1 versus iPad 2. Now iPad 1 has an A4 single core processor running at about 1 GHz uh, with 256 megabytes of RAM. The iPad 2 has the A5 processor dual core running at about 1 GHz with 512 megabytes of RAM. So for my first test we're just going to boot them up. So iPad 2 was quite a bit faster than iPad 1 on boot up. Now let's go ahead and unlock them. Now as you can probably see, iPad 2 is a clone of my iPad 1, so they have the exact same apps, same files, same information. Both are 64 gigabyte, both are 3G. Uh, 3G is deactivated on, or sorry, 3G is deactivated on iPad 1. It's active on iPad 2. They are running on my Wi-Fi network, however. There are a few apps unique to the iPad 2, including FaceTime, camera, and I also have iMovie and uh, Photo Booth are installed on iPad 2. The iPad 1 can't make use of those apps, so they don't have it. Now, I just want to show you guys that I've canceled all background apps, so nothing is suspended. And I'm also going to go ahead and clear the internet cache. I'm going to clear cache. Now, let's go ahead and launch Safari again. We're running on Wi Fi. Now, let's load the bookmark. So, we're going to load the Apple page. So right. iPad 2 was a little faster. Now let's load the iPad page. Again, iPad 2 a little faster. Now let's load another bookmark. Let's load Mac Rumors. Let's load 9 to 5 Mac. So again, iPad 2 was a little faster. So we have consistent results there. It is important to keep in mind that when you're sharing Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi network, you're going to start uh, robbing each other's bit rates. So it's not a, exactly a fair test. But what is a fair test is if we run the Sun Spider JavaScript test. So let's go ahead and bring that up. Now I've brought up the Sun Spider JavaScript benchmark, and I'm just going to run those and come back in a minute. So the test is completed and if we go over to iPad 2, we can see that it completed the test in a little over 2100 milliseconds and iPad 2 completed the test in a little over 3300 milliseconds. So what this tells us is that iPad 2 is much faster at processing JavaScript, so pages will render more quickly on iPad 2, but it's not a huge difference. Now here we have a lot of Safari pages open and if we tap to them, it uh, moves pretty smoothly on both models. They're the exact same pages. Now let's do a refresh test. iPad 2 faster. Now in the next battery test, we're just going to start launching apps. Calendar loaded much faster on iPad 2. Now let's just pick a chapter. iPad 2 a little faster to load the chapter. Now let's see about scrubbing. About the same. Let's load another chapter. Just slightly faster. Now let's load our music. Again, iPad 2 faster. So iPad 2 again a little faster, so let's load an album. I noticed the iPad 2 was a little herky-jerky uh, when it brought up that picture. Let's go back. Select another. So again, this took a little longer to render than this one, just slightly. Again, let's go back. Let's tap here. Yep, again, this takes a little longer. Nail. Let's go to notes. Let's bring up the keyboard. A little faster to load the keyboard. Let's see about typing. So just about the same. Let's load YouTube.
iPad 2 slightly faster. Now let's go for my iPad 2 unboxing. YouTube, this is D2, this is looks like iPad won the battle there, but again, this is network performance, which is unfair because they are, again, robbing each other's bandwidth. Uh, but otherwise, the app uh, seemed to load a little faster on iPad, too. Looks like iPad 2 loaded a little faster. Again, slightly faster for uh, iPad 2. Now let's load an instrument. Just slightly faster. Still loading. Let's load another instrument. Again, iPad 2 faster. So iPad 2 was faster to load and to bring up my library. Now let's turn the page. So you can see even the iPad 2 is a little faster at turning a page and then rendering the page. And actually if you hold and drag the page, you can see the motion on the iPad 2 is quite a bit smoother. It's harder to see. Uh, I think it's going to be harder to see on the camera, but uh, indeed the iPad 2 is quite a bit smoother. iPad 2 faster, again faster. It's even faster with the animations. Indeed, Google Earth is much faster on iPad 2. Now let's try some games. So we're going to launch... The first game we'll launch is Angry Birds. Clearly iPad 2 the winner. Now let's launch Infinity Blade, one of the more demanding games. iPad clearly faster. There we go, that took long enough. Now let's click play. Again, faster, and in fact, it looks a lot smoother than iPad 1. So again, if we look closely at the motion... You can see that's moving around a little more herky-jerky. Indeed, iPad 2 is quite a bit smoother operating than iPad 1 for this game.
All right, that's enough of that, but you get the idea. The iPad 2 is certainly a better gaming computer or gaming iPad. Now for my next test, I just want to test system response time. So if I bring up the app launcher, you can see that the iPad 2 was a little faster. Now let's click on some of the suspended apps. So you can see Infinity Blade suspended properly on the iPad 2 and it did not on iPad 1. Again, let's launch some suspended apps. Again, iPad 2 suspended the game and iPad 1 did not. Again, uh, iPad 2 suspended properly and iPad 1 did not. So in the end, iPad 2 is substantially faster. It's better for gaming, better for system performance, so app switching. It can suspend apps properly because it has more memory. It can play and render games a lot better. And it generally does a better job at every single task it's faced with. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a speed and performance test of the iPad 1 versus iPad 2. Thanks for watching.